Welcome to Muhammad's Boom Boom Room, where all of my guests either agree with me completely or they go boom. I am your host, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon me. And now with me today is a true disciple of Isa bin Miriam. He is the Apostle Paul. Happy to meet you, Paul. Glad to be here, Muhammad. But who is this Isa? Oh, as everyone knows, Isa is the Arabic name for Jesus. No, it isn't. The Arabic name for Jesus is Yasuh. Isa is the Arabic name for Jacob's brother Esau. To the Jews of your time, calling someone Isa would have been an insult because the descendants of Esau were their enemies. So why would you insult Jesus by calling him Isa? Don't blame me. Blame Allah. He's the one who gave Jesus a totally different name in his perfect revelation that contains no errors. Speaking of the Holy Quran, Allah promised to protect Jesus' followers until the day of resurrection. That's a long time. And he said that he aided the true followers of Jesus until they became uppermost over all of their enemies. That is what led so many Muslim scholars to conclude that you, Paul, must be a true disciple of Jesus the Messiah. Well, I am a true disciple of Jesus. At first, I persecuted the church because I believed that the message of Christianity was heresy. But after Jesus Christ appeared to me on the road to Damascus and showed me that he is the Lord of life, who died on the cross for sins and conquered death, I now preach Christ and him crucified. Excuse me, Paul. I don't mean to interrupt, but I think you meant to say he appeared to be crucified, even though he wasn't. No, Jesus was crucified. No, 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 no. It appeared that he was crucified, even though he wasn't. He was definitely crucified. It was a public event in front of thousands of people. No, thousands of people saw an illusion created by Allah, who brags in the Quran that he is the best of deceivers. Your God brags about being the best of deceivers? He's the best, the best. So you're telling me the Apostle Paul, a man who lived in first century Israel and who knew the original apostles that Jesus wasn't crucified, it only appeared that way? Peace be upon me. And where did you get this information? From a bunch of heretical Gnostic stories that were circulating in Arabia, also from the angel Gabriel. And how did you know that it was the angel Gabriel speaking to you? Well, when we first met, he repeatedly choked me nearly to death, telling me to read. When, as everyone knows, I can't read. I was convinced that he was a demon and that I was demon-possessed. So I tried to kill myself by hurling myself off a cliff. But my pagan wife and her cousin, who weren't there when the demon attacked me, told me that I'm not demon-possessed. I'm a prophet of the great God, Allah. Let me see if I've got this straight. A god who describes himself as the best of deceivers sent an angel that you initially thought was a demon, and this angel, after repeatedly choking you almost to death because you couldn't obey his command to read, eventually revealed to you that Jesus didn't actually die. He only appeared to die. Alhamdulillah, that is correct. Allah, who is the best of all deceivers, sent the angel Gabriel to choke me, knowing that after I tried to kill myself, my pagan wife and her cousin would use this brutal attack to convince me that I'm a prophet. This is the same exact way Allah raised up prophets in the Torah. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. It's in the Torah. Okay, professor, what book, chapter, and verse? Torah book, chapter of... Angels choking prophets, verse B. People base their salvation on this moron? I am a prophet, I have proof. 
What? What is your proof? I have a huge mole on my back, which is a seal of the prophet. You know this. It's in the Torah. It's not in the Torah. How would you know? Because I'm a Jewish rabbi who studied under Gamaliel. Wait. What? If you're a Jewish rabbi, does that mean you're a Jew? You must be the Arab Sherlock Holmes. So you are a Jew. Tribe of Benjamin, Pharisee of Pharisees, I'm head to toe kosher. The angel Gabriel says that the Jews are the ultimate enemies of Muslims. And you still believe that was an angel choking you rather than a roided out hooked on phonics cave monster? Of course! My pagan wife said so! And your wife was an expert on angels attacking people in caves for not being able to read? Allah knows best. Do you even hear yourself as you're talking? Let me try to make this so incredibly simple that even you can understand it. I'm a first century Jewish rabbi and a brilliant scholar. You're an illiterate seventh century caravan robber. I know the Old Testament and its prophecies backwards and forwards. You wouldn't know the Old Testament from a phone book. I know all of the relevant languages, Hebrew, Aramaic, Greek, and Latin. You know none of the relevant languages. I knew the original disciples of Jesus, as well as his brothers. You didn't. I met Jesus. You didn't. I tested the revelations I received. You didn't. I've performed tons of miracles. You haven't. Seems like I'm exactly the sort of person you should listen to if you want to know the truth about Jesus. But you'd rather listen to some literacy demon that chokes you and makes you want to slaughter yourself. But he gives me all the sex slaves I want. Listen, in case the future of humanity ever depends on choking someone in a cave for not being able to read, I'll have your cave demon sex trafficker on speed dial. But if you think your little episode of Bleeding Rainbow makes you a prophet, you really need to lay off the camel pee. What about my mole? You forgot about the giant mole that proves I am a prophet. Everything you say proves you're the most obvious false prophet in history. Do not say that. You hurt the feelings of my giant mole. It talks to me. Well, if it's not telling you that you're a complete lunatic, it's lying to you, just like your demon god who brags about being the best of deceivers and word girls, homicidal, cave-dwelling, great-great-great-great-great-great-great-grandfather, word strangler. No one insults my mole and lives! Any last words? Yeah. To live is Christ, and death is gain. We have different last words in Al-Islam. We say, Allahu Akbar!